Oh, I don't even know how to start this vlog. So, me and Jane, you always start with so. I do normally start you, with well, so. Every single time you start a vlog, it's with so. Literally. No, that's just when so I start about, a clip. So how about start it with just, hello, hi. So, welcome back so. to another. So. I did it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. So, you do it every, <laughs> every time. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would vlog today because it's a pretty exciting and monumental time in my life. Um, I, well, we, hello, are actually, <laughs> I feel like that's your signature thing to do in my vlogs, you know, like, or, anyway, um, we are actually going to a house viewing today. This is my first house viewing that I've ever been to. Um, and yeah, I have mentioned this in a video, but I'm actually buying a house. What are you doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm actually buying my first house, which is probably the most exciting and important thing that I've done in my whole life. And I don't know, I feel like I'm going to remember this time forever, so I thought I would document some of it. Um, I'm not going to be showing you guys, you know, like the insides of all of the houses that I'm going to be viewing and stuff, because one, I feel a bit uncomfortable doing that with like estate agents there and stuff like that. Um, but also like, you know, that might not end up being the house that I buy and I don't really like, I don't know, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Um, but I did just want to kind of like document this process. So today, let's see how long it takes uh, between today, our first viewing, and then when we actually move in. It's Saturday the 30th of November. Um, so we're going to view a house, which I didn't think we were gonna get to do today because James was supposed to be in a football match, ended up being canceled. Um, so I then phoned the estate agent and was like, hey, I don't suppose you have any viewings for this house today. And they were like, yep, we can do it at 2.30. So we're leaving here in about half an hour and I'm really nervous I'm mostly nervous just because I feel like I don't look old enough to buy a house and I'm quite worried that when I walk in they're gonna be like oh like are you here with your parents I mean to be fair my parents are coming with us to view it because they're interested but I don't know I feel a little bit self-conscious about that but I'm so excited um, and yeah, I mean, obviously it's been quite a long time coming that I've been saying that I wanted to move out. Um, just in case you're new here, I've never moved out of my family home. I've lived with my parents my whole life. I never like moved out to go to uni or anything. I've never lived with friends. I've never rented anywhere. So for the past kind of like four years, four and a half, five years that I've been doing YouTube, I've just been saving all my money and it was my goal, long-term goal to, you know, save my money to put a deposit down on a house and that is what I'm doing, which is so exciting, kind of really scary, I'm really, really nervous, but yeah, today is the start of all of that, I guess. Two hours later. We're just in the car on the way back from our first viewing. Um, I kind of thought that I was going to like this one more than I ended up liking it. Um, but it's good to have something to compare to. I think obviously like the way it goes with pretty much every house viewing ever is the pictures always look nicer than it actually is. Um, and I think this one would need quite a lot of work doing to it. There was quite a few things in the kitchen that would need replacing. But it was definitely like really great to go and like see what it was like. Get um, I don't know a kind of idea of more of what I want but we've got a couple of more viewings like over the next week so I'm hoping that some of those will be a bit more promising um, I just think that this one in particular was not the one like I just I didn't get the feeling that it was the house that I want to live in so yeah I think a lot of people said to me like you know how with most things in life when you know you know a lot of people have said that with houses so we'll just have to see hopefully my camera's still okay because i dropped it yesterday like from quite a height um so i'm hoping that everything is still working okay let's be real would it really be one of my videos if i didn't have a load of mess in the background let's put you here i've just got a clothes pile here which normally lives on this chair but when i'm on my desk i move the clothes to my bed when i'm in my bed i move the clothes to my desk chair <laughs> so it's now actually a few days later uh, i think yeah the first house viewing that we had was on a saturday today it's tuesday and tomorrow is actually mine and james's official one year anniversary we've been like well, we started dating in October of last year, but then we weren't officially like boyfriend and girlfriend until December the 4th, which is tomorrow as I'm filming this. And yeah, how crazy that on our one year anniversary, we're going to view a house. <laughs> 
But just to explain a little, if you've been around for a while, um, you will probably know that I've been speaking about wanting to move out for probably about a year now. Um, and I don't know, just getting like quite sick of living with my parents. Nothing to do with them, but just the fact that I, you know, I film here in my bed, I work here on my desk, and then I've got like most of my stuff in here. So I've got, you know, I've got to film, work, edit, sleep, socialize not socialize what's the word chill in my bedroom and i'm definitely feeling like i'm ready to move out um so i had been waiting for the whole kind of like basically it was quite a long process because i'm self-employed i was self-employed i had to wait until i had at least two years of accounts um so that i could get a mortgage um and yeah just to explain a little bit i am 22 i'm nearly 23 obviously i'm in a very good position because I've never moved out of my parents' house. I've never rented anywhere, which is just a personal choice of mine because I haven't felt ready to move out before now. And I knew that I really wanted to save to try and buy somewhere if I could. My parents are really, really nice to me and they don't charge me for rent just for my food. Um, so yeah, I've been living at home for, well, obviously my whole life. And I've been earning money from YouTube for the past like three, four years. And so like while all my friends were at uni, I was just at home like earning money doing youtube this is my job and i've just pretty much been saving all my money i don't have a very extravagant lifestyle like i don't really go out much drinking i feel like a lot of young people my age spend quite a lot of money on like alcohol clubbing and stuff which again is totally fine that's just my personal choice of like not doing that um i don't really buy that many like designer items to be honest most of my money goes on food um and what else do i spend my money on netflix gym when i actually go uh mostly food to be honest food clothes makeup that's about it and i'm pretty good at saving so i've been you know saving for the past kind of few years knowing that i wanted to get a mortgage um and no matter what my situation was about a year ago i did decide like when i was in the stage of um being single i did decide that i wanted to move out of my parents house and i wanted to get my own place um and you know regardless of whether or not i was in a relationship or not that was my plan from the beginning um but yeah a lot of people have been asking if i'm going to be living by myself or if james is going to be moving in with me he is going to be living with me um which is really nice and i'm very excited for that obviously like i know that it's a kind of big thing in a relationship but i think we're both like ready for it and prepared for it he wants to move out i want to move out it just makes sense that we move in together because it you know it's easier for the both of us and cheaper for the both of us if we can split costs of things so yeah it just kind of makes sense so tomorrow we've got our second house viewing um our first house viewing we both agreed that it wasn't the one but it was really good to like get a look around it but it did need quite a lot of work doing and we've seen other houses that are in like a similar kind of price range that are more modern and have had more done to them if that makes sense and i know that everyone has personal preferences and buying a house that they want to even do up or buying like a brand new house i kind of want something like in between that like i'm happy to you know change bits of it make it my own paint walls redecorate all of that kind of stuff but i don't want something that i literally have to like build up from the ground if you get what i mean um because yeah i do want to be able to live there kind of soon as soon as possible so the house that we're viewing tomorrow is um i think it's nicer than the one that we viewed on the weekend but since then i have actually found a couple more that i like more um so i am kind of going into it thinking that it might not be the one but i still definitely want to keep the appointment and have a look at it because you never know like it might look nicer in person when we get there so yeah i'm really excited and yeah i really want to do kind of like transformation videos with my filming room slash office um maybe like a bedroom makeover if we need to do it um i want to do a lot of house videos but i don't know whether to do them on my vlog channel whether to do them on my main channel so if you guys could let me know that would be great oh actually i've just realized the time i need to go because i'm actually going to the opticians to pick up my new glasses got some new glasses finally um which is long awaited because i can't see shit out of these ones but i'm also kind of sad because i've had these glasses for two years now um and i don't think i like my new ones as much as i like these and i should have just asked them to put new lenses in these ones but I didn't think of that at the time and I also kind of wanted to change so I'm gonna go get my new glasses now and you guys will have to let me know what you think of them but yeah basically just wanted to like kick this video off at the start of my moving vlogs I guess I don't know when I'm gonna be moving in it's probably gonna take a while to find a house and like the whole process to go through I'm definitely not gonna be moving in anywhere before Christmas um, because obviously we're in December now that's it's only like three and a half weeks away so I highly doubt I'm gonna find somewhere before then and even if I do find somewhere there's no way that we'll be moving in before Christmas it will probably be like January February time 
I'm very stressed about it, but really excited. And I know there's gonna be a massive learning curve, so can't wait to take you guys with me. We have secured the goods. New glasses. Um, very nice of Caramillan to provide a box with their glasses, but this is the most inconvenient glasses case I've ever seen, because it's huge. But I'm so excited that I have my new glasses, because now I might actually be able to see when I'm driving. <laughs> And just in general, when I'm wearing my glasses in the evening instead of my contacts, I might actually be able to see out of them now, which is always a bonus. Okay, so, so these are what the new glasses look like on. I actually think I prefer them to my old ones. I thought I wasn't going to like them as much, but I actually prefer them. Uh, it could be because I went for lens thinning this time and I got... I've got hair on my face. I went for lens thinning and I got an anti-reflective coating. I'm really sorry for the, like, whirring noise in the background. It's my laptop. I'm exporting a vlog that I just edited. Um, but a little update on the house hunting. So after my opticians today, I drove around to actually see in person not a viewing but just to see in person three of the houses that i've been looking at on right move i kind of thought that if i went to view the area that they are and see them from the outside it might give me a better idea of whether or not i want to live in that area if that makes sense before i actually go ahead and book a viewing because the one that we viewed on saturday i didn't really like the area that it was that it was in um so i thought it's probably sensible to just go and like drive there before i actually like you know waste time doing a viewing if i don't like the area so i saw three of the houses that i've been looking at and they do actually all look like they're in a pretty decent area there was one house that i was looking at for about the past month it was in like a kind of like new build sort of area um and there was a few different houses that were available and i was looking at them for ages before i'd got my agreement in principle for my mortgage but i didn't want to go and look at them before i'd got an agreement in principle because then obviously like somebody else would have beat me to it and did beat me to it and then literally when i decided like right okay everything's set i'm gonna book a viewing i emailed the estate agent and then they replied being like yeah sure we can book you in for a viewing and then within the time that i emailed them they then replied and said we're really sorry we've actually just had an offer on the house so i can't show you it and i was like no because it was so perfect um and like originally i wasn't planning to go for a new build but this one in particular like it had really nice sized bedrooms it was just in such a good area like it was just really nice and exactly what i was looking for um so yeah i was pretty gutted about that and like you know when you see somewhere and you can just picture yourself living there i was like imagining what i was going to do with the rooms and stuff um and which one was going to be my filming room and stuff like that um so i was really gutted that those houses were then not available and then I tweeted about it today and I'm not kidding within 10 minutes of me tweeting about it I got an email back from the estate agent telling me the house is back on the market um, so I then replied straight away being like, can I book a viewing? Um, the guy then phoned me and he was like, yeah, we can book you a viewing. You're the first person to reply to my email. But unfortunately, okay, this is the downside. Today is Tuesday and I'm not available for a viewing until Saturday. And so I have a horrible feeling that in that time, somebody might beat me to it. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. And hopefully I'll be able to view it on Saturday um, before somebody else puts an offer on. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's a little house update. Hello, guys. Today it is Thursday. Yesterday I had the house viewing. And it was actually a bit of a mad rush to get there. So I didn't update you guys like when I was actually in the car. Because I had to meet James there from work. Um, and I was just in a bit of a rush. But yesterday's house viewing was good. Um, me and James both really liked the house. James loved it and it did feel really, really homely. Um, but I did think that compared to some of the other houses that I've seen online and booked viewings for, that the rooms were a little bit small compared to others. Um, and also all of the carpet in the living room like needed redoing. It had like a little conservatory bit, but it was like really kind of like cold and old and kind of damaged. And so that would need to be redoing. Um, and yeah, it was just a little bit smaller than other ones that we'd seen. I'm very excited for my viewing on Saturday. I can't wait to go and see this house. I really hope I like it. James can't actually make it because he's working on Saturday. Um, but my parents are going to come with me. And then if I like it, I guess I'll book another viewing ASAP. But stay tuned. We'll see. Nice size bedroom. Ooh. Nice big shower. A few moments later. So I just came to edit this video and then I realized that I never actually filmed a clip updating you guys on the day that we actually found the house that I wanted to buy. So in the end, we viewed, I think it was around 10 different houses. We actually had 
five viewings the first week of January because obviously over Christmas everything like died down and we took a break from viewings because it was Christmas no one was doing viewings no one was working but then yeah we ended up booking five viewings for that first week back in January and there was one house in particular that I'd seen online and I was like oh my god I love it like out of all the ones that I'd seen on Rightmove and Zoopla and everything like that just looking at the pictures I was like I love this house but then because obviously in like previous viewings and stuff I'd always liked houses more on the internet and in the pictures than I had when I actually went to view them in real life we decided to book in like five different viewings of different places that I did like just to make sure I think we viewed it on a Tuesday and we had one house viewing the day before one on that morning then the actual house that I ended up choosing in the afternoon then we had another two for the rest of the week but I was really gutted because we viewed one house the day before and I did like it it was nice but I was still like you know what I'm holding out for that house that I've seen online that was my favorite but I was kind of keeping this other house in the back of my mind and then the next day we had one viewing in the morning we went to that and I literally was just like I walked in and was like nope this isn't the house like I didn't even really want to like look at it in great detail we spent such a short amount of time there like the viewing was literally like I don't know five minutes long because I just knew when I walked in I was like this is not the one like at all and then because it was the actual same estate agent that we were doing both of those viewings on um like one after the other the guy was like oh I just have to let you know um then an offer was put on the next house that you're going to view this morning and I was like no so he was like oh I don't want to pressure you or anything but just please let me know like straight away if you're interested um you know because even if it's like good or bad just because it does have an offer on it and I'm legally like obliged to tell the seller about the offers within 24 hours so if you did want to put in an offer then I can put in both offers at the same time and so then I was like so gutted and we were driving to the next viewing and I was just like I was feeling really down because I was like it's already had an offer put on it like they're probably going to be our offer and and yeah I was just really disheartened and then when we got to the house and like parked up and then like went and viewed it I was just like oh my god I love it so much it was just so perfect and I was like this is the house and so then when me and James left he was like yeah what are you thinking we both looked at each other and we were like I love it like I could not stop smiling and so then instantly like we went back to my car phoned the estate agent straight away and were like yeah what do we do next like we want to put an offer in do we just tell you that we want to put an offer in and he was like okay let me explain how it works because like I've never bought a house before I don't know what I'm doing so he was like okay well you need to give me like what your offer is um so then I was basically like okay can I have half an hour to think about it then we phoned them back and then we had kind of like a painstaking time um where we had to wait i think we had to wait overnight you know and he called us back the next day where pretty much both my offer and this other person's offer was given to the seller and they had to had to decide who they were choosing the estate agent said that um the seller had got really good vibes from me and james and he thought that we seemed really nice like decent people and I don't know whether that had anything to do with him choosing our offer because you know I have no idea what this other person's offer was but basically in the end they got back to me and they said the seller won't accept this offer but they will kind of like meet you halfway so I ended up accepting like it was like a little bit higher than the like offer that I put in but I was okay with that because it was still like within my budget and um yeah we got the news that our offer had been accepted and then obviously comes the rest of it so that was actually on the 2nd of january and we are now the 10th of february because it's my birthday tomorrow and um still don't have a moving in date like everything with the solicitors has been so kind of messy and complicated and there is so much paperwork and hopefully fingers crossed i will have a moving in date soon but for now i've got no idea what's happening so i'm just waiting on solicitors really but yeah that's pretty much the end of it um so i mean no exchanges have been done yet but i mean i'm very close to getting there i think just before i end this i do want to ask you guys if you have any questions um because i think i am going to do like a full-on q a video about the whole like moving process if that would be helpful to some of you guys because obviously i had no idea what buying a house entailed then let me know any questions that you have down below so i'm going to leave this here and i will see you guys in my next video bye